Hello, I am Stuti with IBM Kyoda team and in this video, we will demo how to address unknown and stored events using DSM editor. Let us go to Kyoda UI. This is the log activity tab. Here you will be able to see various kinds of events coming to Curator. So let us fetch for an event which is coming as unknown. Earlier we have observed that there is a log source windows or server for which we are observing unknown events. So let us see if we are receiving the unknown event. Here we can see that one of the event is coming as unknown. Let us double click on that particular event. Here we can see that event name is unknown and also low level category of this event is also unknown. If we want to map this particular event, then we can do that by clicking on map event option over here. Here we will be having an option of selecting high level category, low level category, and then we can hit on search. It will display us the QIDs that are available over here. And based on our requirement, we can select the existing QID and map an event. Also, there is one more way in which we can see the event details and create a new QID. That can be done by using a DSM editor. Let us see how we can do it. So let's clear this filter. Let's fetch for the events that are unpassed. So this particular filter will provide us information regarding all the events with different log sources that are not being passed properly. We can select a particular event. Here we can see that a low level category is stored. Let's Right click on a particular event, then click on view in DSM editor. So this is how DSM editor looks like. Here we can see that the parsing status is parsing field because this particular event is coming as stored. We can use this option to filter for the columns that we want to see. For example, parsing status, let's say this, let's select all for example parsing status then we can select the destination ip event id event name and let's click on update in this way we would be able to see the information that is specific to a particular event let us go to event mapping here we will be having different kinds of qid available let us click on plus option and let's click on choose a qid Again, as we have seen earlier, here we can provide the details regarding high level category, low level category, log source type and QID and hit on search. It will provide us all the information regarding the existing QID. Also, if we want to create a new QID, we can click on create new QID record. Here we would be able to provide all the information that is required and just click on save. So in this way, if there are any events that are appearing as unknown in the log activity tab, we can map those events to the existing QIDs available. And also if you want to create a new QID, we can do it from the DSM editor. If we want to map the event, we can do it by going to the event details and click on map event option. Another way of doing is to select that particular event, then right click and go to DSM editor. From there as well, you can either select the existing QID or you can create a new QID as well. Thank you for joining us. If you need more assistance, use the links in the description.